Hi, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today, I'm going to be talking about Office compatibility mode in Google Drive and using it to open a Microsoft Word file and work in the file as a Microsoft Word file, not as a Google Docs file. And uh, the reason why you might do this is maybe you need to keep it in Microsoft Word so you can you know, fix something and then send it back to the author uh, who is only using Microsoft Word. Uh, but there may be other reasons too. Now there's a couple requirements for doing this, what I'm about to show you. First of all, you have to be using the Chrome browser. This is Chrome in Mac, uh, Mac OS, but it's also the same as in Chrome for PC. So you need to be using the Chrome browser and you need to add an extension called Office Editing. Here's how you add an extension. Go to the top uh, file menu up here, choose Window, Extensions, and then type Office Editing, and it will show up. So I've already installed this, so I, I can't install it again, but it will say remove it. Uh, if you didn't have it installed, you'll see a button that says install or download or whatever. If you're not using the Chrome browser, like you're using Safari or something, uh, first of all, you won't be able to edit the uh, Microsoft Word document in as a Microsoft Word document in uh, Google Docs. Um, it'll convert it immediately to a, uh, a Google Docs file. Um, so this is in Safari. If you see this, if you try to download the extension, you'll see a button. You'll see a button like this available on Chrome. Okay. So let's go back here. Um, one other thing to note: um, you can only what I'm about to show you working on the file in uh, Office compatibility mode, the the Microsoft Word file. It only works from Drive. So if I if I tried to do this within Docs to upload a file within Google Docs. Um, it would immediately convert it to Google Docs. I don't want that to happen. I just want to use the file as a Microsoft Word file. Um, and for some reason, you have to do it directly from Google Drive. So anyways, go to Google Drive, click New, File Upload. Okay, I've just been working on this um, glossary. So let's take that one, open it up. So first it'll say Uploading One Item. And then you'll see a little window like this. Double click, it also note importantly, there's a W next to the file name. That means it's Microsoft Word. Okay, if it was Google Docs, it would be a blue icon with some lines on it. But this is a Microsoft Word document. Double click on it. You'll see at the top, it says Chrome extension. So it's using that Chrome extension, the Office editing extension, and then it opens up the document as a Microsoft Word dot doc X document. Okay, this is pretty cool. You can see also it says W here. This means it's a Microsoft Word document. So what I could start doing is I could start making some changes. So I could say, um, you know, uh, please see chapter five, okay? I can also do things like very basic formatting. So I'm just gonna highlight these and I'm gonna convert them to bullets. Simple stuff like that. I could even do something like, you know, I could add a this glossary bold, and I could make it big if I wanted to, like 60, but actually the way you should do it, according to Microsoft Word and most editing conventions, is you should actually change the style. So I could change that to like title or subtitle. But you'll notice that, act that actually the, uh, the formatting for it looks a little bit different than it would in Microsoft Word. And indeed, there's only a very limited set of changes you can make using Office compatibility mode in Google Docs to a Word document. So, you know, I can make things go on the right, I could center it, I could just change the font and the font size, simple bulleting stuff, simple styles, but I can't take advantage of all the features that are in uh, Microsoft Word uh, for Mac OS or for Windows. Um, it just it the extension the extension in Chrome doesn't work that way. But for basic changes, it's fine. And once you make the changes, you can click download and get a copy of the file, which you can then email or you can open up in Word or do whatever you want. You can also do some limited sharing. Um, you'll see there's some more options up here. You know you can do word count, very simple formatting. Uh, but if you want to get more sophisticated formatting, either you're going to have to open this file in Microsoft Word or convert it to a Google Docs document, basically by going to File, Save as Google Docs, and then that will convert it, and then you can start to use all of the more advanced features. Um, still not the same as Microsoft Word, but more sophisticated than what you can get just using the Office compatibility extension. For more information on how to get the most out of Google, Doc, 
Google Docs or Google Drive, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs, in 30 minutes, available from in30minutes.com. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.